Welcome. I'm Bill Wake. We're here working on a program to compare tunes for similarity. We've we've done some other work with it. Uh, we did something called a Parsons code and some some other things to let us understand these tunes. But lately, we've been working on the idea of clustering them. So we've got a clustering algorithm that tries to match the most similar tunes together, and then we've been drawing a dendogram, which is a sort of diagram to show how close they are. And uh, we have the diagram working. There's a problem, though, that that the stuff was coming out flipped from what I wanted. And we, we got that so it was flipped properly, but I don't want to be flipping it. I want it to come out right in the first place. So we're going to work kind of bottom and top and make sure we understand where that's happening and, and how to best fix it. All right. So, and let me show where we're, what we're doing for now. Uh, dendogram view. Okay. We have this. So this is the part that draws the connectors, these these branched lines, and we're flipping it with scale it by minus one. So uh, that's that's not what we want. <laughs> want to get it right. All right. So two two. Let's turn that on. All right. Uh, we want to check and make sure Parsons code's not flipped. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but uh, that's kind of the bottom thing. All right, so we have a method distance two from one Parsons code to another, and we uh, zip them together, and then we try and figure out the gaps based on the characters. So D is down, R is repeat, and U is up. So if one's going down and the other's going up, they're getting two apart, and you know, and so on from there. Um, in the end, we're counting how many, how big the gap is, and then we're um, basically scaling it to the number of notes. Okay, um, and so this gives us, let's see, it gives us a, well, what does it give us? I don't know. The, these, these minuses and all this stuff is throwing me off here. Okay. Originally, we started out this being a similarity, and now it's, if this is maximized, this is zero. Okay, so if the score, yeah, so I think the score is going to be a similarity. Let's, let's make sure. So we got the gap. We take the gap, divide by twice the number of notes, and, um, one minus that. So that becomes a ratio, and then we subtract that from one, and then we build the length ratio. So the shortest divided by the longest. Because if one has four notes and there has ten notes, it, it certainly shouldn't be, even if those four notes are 100% match, we're not calling it a match. All right. Um, I'm I'm going to look at the tests for this. All right, so I memorized this keystroke now. Finally, all right. Uh, do I have keystrokes on? Yeah. All right. So distance between totally divergent is one. So that means they're totally divergent. Their distance is bigger. Okay. So it is a distance. All right. Partially divergent is a half. Equal tunes is zero. Okay. So yes, this is a distance. <laughs> All right, um, so that's Parsons code. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me add a to do while I'm thinking about it. Um, let's let's just say speed it up. We'll know what that means, but but it's a few seconds to run, and it's it's not a particularly fast algorithm. It's order n cubed, so um, you know, a quick sort gets you n log n, and a uh, insertion sort gets you n squared. Well, this one's n cubed, so it's even worse than a slow sort. All right. Um, Parsons code. Okay, so let's go to where, let's go to our algorithm, which is mostly in proximity matrix. And I, I don't know, there may be something there. Okay. Um, I could swear somebody did a flip on something, but we'll see if we see it. Okay. So proximity matrix, its goal is to build up this cluster, uh, array of cluster algorithms. And uh, let me go here. So what what the algorithm's approach is, we start with every node being 
its own thing. Uh, let's go to the example here. So we have nodes A, B, C, D, E. We make a you know n by n table, and then we're going to find the best pair, which in um, well, it's it, we don't want to compare you to yourself. So A to B is 17. That's lower than 21, 31, or 23. Uh, so we're going to take A and B and then combine them into a new node. And we're going to keep going going like that until we get down to one, one node that has, you know, A and B are the first pair, then C and then E. Okay. Um, and D is left. Okay. So um, that's proximity matrix. It's not actually a 2D matrix in the way we've done it. So that's a little, a little funny. Okay. And then element distance is the function that's going to... Um, actually do the comparisons. So when we're comparing tunes, we're going to pass tune.distance. Well, we're going to pass a distance function. Okay, that deals with tunes. All right, you can add and remove from the matrix. You can find that's probably not a good thing, but we got it. All right, so how do you calculate the distance from one sequence number to another sequence number? So each of these gets a number. So they start off 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We had a, B, C, D, E. Okay, there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to, um, at any point, we're going to take, like this one, we're going to take the, we're going to go through every pair, A, B with C, A, B with D, A, B with E, and so on, C with D, C with E, all that stuff. We're going to find out that 21 is the lowest number. And so um, we're going to combine them, delete the row for C, delete the column for C, and put in the ABC thing. Okay. Well, in fact, you can... The algorithm above doesn't say you can pull two in, but this one does. So they pull in two, and they have uh, a cluster with four items in it. Okay. But we don't, we don't do that. We only cluster one thing at a time. All right. So um, given one sequence number, so one of these nodes... We want to find the lowest distance to the other one. Okay, so we find those nodes, find their clusters, dig out their elements, and um, we take the product of the two elements and uh, map their distances and find the min. And so we're finding the minimum distance. Okay, and elements, well, interesting. All we get is the distance. You'd think we would want to know the... Cluster. I guess we're keeping track here. Okay. So here, we start off with the the sequence numbers assigned. And uh, basically, we've filled in the elements already, and we assigned sequence numbers. Then we're going to say, we start off with the best pairs, minus one, minus one. There's no, there's no sequence number that makes sense. Least distance. Okay. So we're starting off with sort of the farthest away and let it go from there. So we're going to take the combinations of count two, which gives us all the pairs. We're going to filter it so we always look at the first one versus the second, because it's a symmetric table. Um, then we're going to take the sequence number for the first one and the sequence number for the second one and find their distance. And if that distance is less, then we have a new best pair. And um, we will save that. Okay, we'll save the pair and the distance. All right, and at the end, um, we can find whatever the the best pair. We'll find the two elements of that and use that. Now, this find, um, it does make me think we could do a better structure, so we'll, we'll have some performance things to do when we get there. All right, now, that's finding the best pair. Okay, so here's the whole algorithm. Um, we're going to make a map... Find the maximum sequence number. Um, so that's the, the sequence number assigned so far. Um, we probably could have figured that out in some other way, but for now. All right, we'll take the maximum sequence number. All right, we're going to create the cluster that's the best pair, or get the two values for the best pair, and um, take the distance for them. So we've actually double calculated that. That's kind of too bad. And um, make a cluster out of that. Okay, so the, the sequence number is M. 
the distance, the cluster, the two clusters. Then we're going to remove the old two and add the new cluster. Okay. And so that's that, that process of finding the best pair at any given point. All right. Now, however, I don't see any minus one minus this is or that's that make anything go differently. To me, it looks like the first cluster should be the best pair, the, you know, the best pair of numbers, and so on. Um, the lowest being the best. Least distance. Okay. That's pretty darn good. So now we got to go connectors. So next level up. So we built this cluster. We got this data structure. Let's get a cluster. All right. So a cluster is either an element. So it's just the sequence number and whatever it holds. And, or it's a, a cluster built from other things. So it's sequence number, a level, which tells how far apart they are and uh, cluster, the two clusters that are that are joined together. So initially everything is elements, then we start clustering together and presumably end up with a cluster. Okay, so you can get the sequence number, you can get all the sequence numbers included, useful for other things. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a union. We started looking at this and I got distracted yesterday. Uh, sorry, Swift set union. I'm sure there's a union in place or that generates its own new thing. I'm sure union should tell me what it is, even if it isn't it. Uh, form union. Inserts the... No? Hmm. Wait, what's union? Returns a new set with this set and the given sequence. Oh, okay. That is the one we want. All right. Um, all right. So all sequence numbers, we're just running through and making a big union of, of all the numbers we come across. Hmm. Okay. The level, it's zero for elements because they don't have any distance themselves. Um, we can ask the elements and we can ask the leaves. I don't know if we use both these at this point. Well, cluster, connector, okay, that does. And I think we use this. And I think you could generate elements from leaves, yeah. All right. Um, all right, so the next thing up is you got the clusters. Now we have different views we could do. Well, we've chosen to do a dendogram view and um, connectors are the things that define that. So we did a little refactoring in here today, so it's probably not quite as organized as before, but um, uh, all right. So we yesterday we added the notion that elements can have connectors. All right. So an element knows its sequence number and the row number, all right, which is where it's going to be in the display. Uh, clusters, they know connector info, which is, let me pull that up. Connector info is the sequence numbers, the list of element IDs contained in this node. We use that to click on them, the level, and the top branch and the bottom branch. Okay. Um, all right. So connectors. Well, we have a lot of accessors to get to the center, the level, and so on. Um, you can't use them on the elements, but they make sense on the clusters, the, the top and bottom. All right. And then this function does all the work. Okay. And that's the one. Like, I'm just going to skim because I could swear we did a minus one somewhere, but Maybe not. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm I'm truly puzzled here. Okay, so let's go through it. Um, to build connectors, to build the full set of connectors for a cluster. All right, we're going to come in with the root cluster. And we're going to call build connectors 
another version with row number zero. So that just says we're drawing this starting at row zero. All right, so if it's an element, then we return the element and we're returning an empty list, uh, the list of all um, included clusters, basically. And elements don't generate clusters per se, or connectors, really. Um, the real connectors are, are, are there. We don't, we don't look at these. We will, but we don't right now. Okay, so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, if you're going to build, um, you're at a new cluster, okay, clustering cluster one and cluster two together. Well, you should build the connectors for cluster one, telling them to start filling out a starting row. And then when you get the result back, you should build the connectors for cluster two, telling them to start at the starting row plus however many things you placed here. So if we came back with three here, let's say we start at zero and add three, you know, zero, one, two, and now we add three and we'll, we'll start these here at three. Okay. And um, we're going to build a list of their connectors. Um, and that's this result.append. Okay. So, um, well, that name might be, um, let's call it all connectors. And let's call this um, new connector. Okay. So we're going to build up the list of all the connectors we've seen, and then we're going to create a new class, uh, connector for this cluster. And we've got cluster one and cluster two. Okay, length is level. All right, so the ID comes from the cluster. Uh, we pulled it yeah, up here. All right, um, the element IDs are all of its sequence numbers, which it can look up from what it contains. Um, the level is the level from the cluster. I mean, yeah, we, we were told it. And then the top branch, we start X at cluster one dot level. Uh, sorry. Yeah, X starts at cluster one dot level. Why, why, is connector one center. Okay, so whatever connector one did, it drew something and it's got a it's got a center point. We're gonna we're gonna start at the level and draw and the center and then draw well we're gonna take this level minus cluster one's level. So we were told this one is is cluster is level eight point eight, say, and Connector 1's level is 0.5. So uh, connector 1 already drew its way out to 0.5, and we just had to go 0.8 minus 0.5 is 0.3 to get the rest of the way there. Okay? And then the bottom is somewhat similar. Um, X is cluster 2's level. Okay, so however far it got. And uh, it's connecting center, and then it's level minus cluster 2 level. So if it had gone part way, we would draw the branch from there, and then append that to the list of connectors, and we'll return that last connector and all connectors. Um, now, one of the open questions for me was, should, should my connectors uh, should my connectors have maintained the connections themselves? And then this list of all connectors is redundant because you just can walk through the, the connectors to do it. I don't know the answer there, but I do know I'm not seeing the one minus stuff that I thought I would see. So I don't see, let's see, I'm thinking my way through this. I've got cluster one. It presumably my, my root cluster is going to work its way down to its first descendant, you know, first leaf level descendant. And that was supposed to be the cluster that was built from the two most similar elements. And they're in starting row. Okay, so I don't see why... I don't see why I'm flipping anything. Okay. Now this build connectors, let's go to who uses that. 
should be, well, dendogram. Okay, so dendogram, it runs through those cluster connectors and, and builds a cluster from it. Okay. Oh, maybe that's the thing with the minus one. I keep thinking there's a minus one somewhere. Yeah, I may be totally off on this. Um, okay. So uh, we get the width. We decide whether it's selected. Okay, we're going to draw a line across connector.top. And then a line across the bottom. And then a line vertical to join them. I don't see anything funny there. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a diamond. Well, it's gonna be the connector's level is the X coordinate, and the Y is, well, scaled by the width, and Y is the connector's center. Okay, so the diamond goes in the middle. I, I just don't see it. Nothing flips anything there. Okay, so weird. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to dig in. <laughs> All right, but anyway, let's let's walk through. Well, okay, let's make sure lines don't do anything funny too. Okay, we got the scale times x, the scale times delta x. We move from x y to x plus delta x, y plus delta y. That sounds fine. A horizontal line delta y is zero. We move from x y's branch length to length zero. Okay, that's pretty good. Vertical line, top x, top length. So the starting point for x plus its length is where my vertical line is going to go. And then the y scale times the top y, we're starting at the top. And then we're not moving horizontally, but we're going to the bottom minus the top. Oh, uh, that's a delta. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure the delta thing was worth it, but... Okay, I mean, that looks all right to me. This looks good. Z stack. Now, okay, what is going on? So we've got leaves.reversed here, and that just bugs me no end. So if I take out leaves.reversed and I take off that minus one, we get it. Okay, so I, I don't know. All right, so our leaves, they're going to put out, um, we're going to go through each leaf in our list. Um, now, this, right now, the leaves are maintained separately. They're in the clusters, and um, the diagram part is in the connectors. We, What we did for the connectors, adding the ele elements in, we could probably do the elements through the connectors and not have to be different. But I want to get understanding why I'm doing this first. Um, all right, so we draw, write out the element that we have here. Um, the leaf. Okay, let's get the type of leaf. Okay. Well. Reverse collection of cluster of tune. So he's he's also a cluster of tune dot element, and the element is cluster of tune. So cluster of tune dot element sub zero. Okay, we bold it if the selected elements contains the sequence number. We set the font and limit it in alignment. We pad it, and then we position it based on. Okay, this is um, diagram percent is how much is devoted to the, the dendogram part, which is 0.75, I think. So this is 0.25. And basically we're saying uh, it gets the um, it gets the position based on that. Okay, so the frame width, so inner frame width. I'm sorry, I lost inner frame width. Is that not frame width? Oh, inner frame width. Okay, it takes away the padding. Okay, so it gets the true the true frame width. Okay. Um, inner frame width 
so that's some number of pixels times a uh, percent, 25, then divided in half. Okay. That's the X. All right. So uh, basically it's, it's taking out the, the border distance, I guess. Okay. And the scale times the, the number is the index. So zero, one, two, three, running up the thing. So that, oh, what's this? Frame width, oh, minus diagram percent. Okay. Yeah. The frame width is basically what we're drawing in. In here we say it's infinite. And then out here we limit it. So it ends up limited. All right. Um, I do have a question on the text. I feel like there's a way to make make the text compress a little better. Right now it does the front dot, dot, dot. And I think the end of the string probably helps as much as anything. All right. So here, this thing. All right. For, we go through build connectors with this cluster. And each one we create a cluster for it. Um, I don't know. It, it's not really a cluster. It's, it's, let's run the thing. Okay. All right, let's take our big file. Um, this one is 39 copies of variations of Deck the Halls, basically, no All right, let's cluster it. Okay, so when it says draw a cluster, it's actually drawing this branchy thing. I don't have a good name for it. I need one. I think they call it... Um, well, I think they're, I think they're trees in the view of a dendrogram. Let's see, do they, okay, these are branches. Okay, so. I mean, maybe this is a base and this is another branch. Um, this whole thing together, is it, is it, I, I don't know, I could almost call it a bracket and be happier. I'm going to do that because it reminds me of like tennis tournaments and stuff like that. So let's make this a bracket for connector. Okay. So we go through those things and then we flip them over and then we offset them a little bit to make them line up properly with the, with the lines we have from the first one. The height is scale times the count. Okay. And then the bottom, we're, we're just putting a little padding on the bottom, half a line. I don't get it. I mean, just flat out don't get it. <sighs> Why do they get reversed? Okay, so in this one, these two songs are the most similar. Theoretically, well, the next most similar is this, and then there's a couple more like that. But then once you get past those, right, the shortest line after that, I don't know, it's really this. So I'm a little puzzled at the order things are coming out. Um... Because it should be the shortest, the shortest lines come first. Now, this is a shortest line and it comes first. So we would, we'd put this in. I guess this is actually okay. So we, we did this one. 
Now we go through the system and find the next two shortest, and it's this one, and then another one, and another one. And then we um, find the next shortest. It actually connects these two previous ones. Okay, and then the next shortest looks like this one. And then this one. And then I think this, this, that connects those. Okay. And that connects the next one. Right. So I guess that's, that's okay. But why is this reversed? Okay. So we're going to have to, um, Hmm, let me think about this top one. Okay, so he is positioning. Okay, that X coordinate, it's basically zero in the inner frame, so no big deal. Y scale times float of number. So these are coming out zero, one, two, three, four. Um, Okay, so I don't want to know why clustered out leaves. Okay, there's got to be something for arrays. Is that what these are? Um, yeah, arrays. There should be something to combine two arrays and generate a new one. Let's let's look at Swift UI array. I don't care about bridging, inspecting, adding elements, inserts. I want one that says I create a new collection. Oh, plus, creates a new collection by concatenating the elements of a sequence in a collection. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay, so I think I can say return cluster1.leaves plus cluster2.leaves. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Let me run that. Again. I might not hit run tests, I guess. Here we go. Okay. Um, simply I return of cluster dot leaves. All right. That's nicer swift wise, but it's not changing anything. Okay. But it returns this. So, so leaves, it's going to return the deepest element first. So this element plus the next element is going to be the first cluster. Um, 
Well, I guess I can make the same optimization there. Get it. I think cluster one dot leaf should return things in my right order. So let's find clusters tests. Okay, elements. All right, if I put zero, one, and three. What's this one, two? Oh, that's the elements. Okay, the element is one, the element is two. All right. So the elements is only leaf level things. That that maintains the order if I put the first one first. Okay. Now, list elements in order. Okay, element 142, 24. Okay, again, I'm making sure the order comes out right. Sequence number and level. Okay, leaves. Um, those elements, this is leaves. Leaves should come out E1, E2. And sequence numbers, one, two, three. Okay. Um, that's these. Um, so, yeah, like this one proves we don't care what these numbers well, no, it doesn't. I mean, these these are somewhat arbitrary. I don't see anything in there that would make me think differently. I mean, let's let's build up a bigger test. Um, we want, I guess, leaves would be the good one to do. Okay. Um, how about complex cluster knows its leaves in order? Okay. Well, let's make that three. Well, I'm going to make it easier. Element zero, cluster element zero. All right, this is arbitrary. It could be three. All right, cluster element one, element two, and element three. Let's transpose these two. Okay. Now we'll make, let's make a cluster that, well, E1, E2, that's fine. So they should come out first. And then uh, cluster two, let's put E0, E3, three, uh, his sequence number should be four, five, um, is eight seven five. I'm trying to get powers of two for whatever reason. Um, e zero, e three, e zero. So we're scrambling this up, and then let's see three equals cluster, cluster six, one, um, c two, c one. 
Okay. Now, if we ask C3 dot leaves, we're going through this one first. So C2 is E3, E0. So this should be E3, E0. All right. C E3 is 3. Okay. Um, E0, then we should get E1, E2. Because they're the bottom cluster of C3. Okay, and I think this should pass. I, I don't see anything that would make it go funny. All right. Um, hmm. So dendrogram view here, he's asking for leaves. He asks them reversed. I don't get it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, could I be wrong about what order they are? I don't know. All right, so we're writing the leaf sequence number. Let's just write number instead and make sure they're coming out in the index order we expect. Okay, so I'm going to run. Really, I shouldn't have any of this. I, sh I just want the description. Okay, open file. Cluster it. Right, those indexes are coming out in order as expected. So my reverse list got these two. I don't get it. Because my, my first one should definitely be one of these zero things. How are they getting reversed? We're calling leaves. We just checked that clustered out leaves. Um, I'm gonna... What is this type? It is... Int cluster, cluster of tune. <laughs> Sequence number. I mean, this, this bolding makes me think that it's matching the right sequence number because it's, we're asking for leaf dot sequence number which should be corresponding to these things, and these the right ones are bolding. Oh, golly. All right, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this in. Can I pass in? Well, let's let's extract this. Okay. Make it um, public var draw elements taking something um, yields some view. Public 
function dot elements. And I really want to pass cluster dot leaves. Uh, whose type is array of tune. Okay, and so I'm going to take that and do leaves dot reversed. Okay, and I'm going to return this. All right, and then call it with cluster dot leaves. Okay, so this is draw elements with cluster dot leaves. This will comment out briefly. Okay, with the frame and all that stuff. So that should be a neutral refactoring. And unfortunately, well, here we go. Implicit return. That's legal. Legal. This. Oh. Okay, try again. I'm going to do other stuff in there so that blank line thing is going away. <laughs> All right. No scaling. Cluster it. Okay. So it all should look the same. Yep. Okay. So now I can... I don't mind doing that. Okay, but I can I can get in here and I can print leaves. And I guess I should see this with my fall a small one. Uh, let's take this one. It's only th uh, five. Okay, and looking at this, I would say the two old Joe Clarks are very similar. Eh. No scale and maybe next, maybe maybe this one. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up to me. And this one's definitely the least least likely, least alike. Okay, so yeah, old Joe, then Rory one, and then no scale on. Well, what do we get? A lot of stuff. Ugh. Okay, it's got the tune. Cluster out leaves. I just want... I just want the title. Is that in here? Let's... Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so a tune, I think I just use brackets and that'll dig out the metadata. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's map them to zero sub title. Okay, so I should only get the song titles. Oh, has no subscripts. Oh, uh, dollar zero dot elements sub zero subtitle. Okay. These are leaves, so elements only has one entry in it. All right, let's do that and see if we can get a little better. Okay, old Joe, old Joe, Rewan Nelson, air. Air, huh. Well, they look backwards to me. Wow. Um...
and we visually know Old Joe Clark and Old Joe Clark too are very close. So, so they are definitely the ones clustered together. I don't know. Okay, let's let's go to. I'm kind of reduced to debugging this. Um. Let's get proximity matrix. Okay, so that's the original list. We reverse it and that's how we get it right. Um, but I don't understand why it's not right to start with. Okay, so I guess that's not the place, right? Priority matrix is interesting, but cluster is... Um, well, who clusters them? I guess that's priority symmetry matrix. Okay, I'm going to print stuff here. This is proximity, so this is, let's print, um, well, we're adding a new cluster. So let's, let's print, um, let's say it's new cluster number, that's M, connects, cluster one dot sequence number to cluster two dot sequence number. Okay, so every time through this loop, right, it's it's finding that best set and then it actually decided to cluster something. We're gonna find out what it clustered. So I guess I'm hmm. I guess I need to know the initial ones. Okay, that creates the initial set. Let's print um, proximity matrix um, number number goes to um element dot why is element not an element His element is an element. What's element? <laughs> um, in our case, it's tune. Okay, so let's say element subtitle. Is that gonna work? Element has no subscripts. All they think is element's a hashable thing. Hash value. Let's just print it and see what we get. All right. So I'm going to run the same data set. Okay, we got some data here. Oh, this is good. Okay, zero is Noskalon, one is air, or two is air, sorry, one is air, two is ruin, three, four. That's the order they come in. All right. Cluster five connects three to four. That's what we'd expect. Cluster six connects two to five, yes. Seven connects zero to six. Eight connects one to seven.
Now that seems wrong. Five connects three to four. Six connects two to five. It is adding the worst one at each point. So our cluster, if you track it through, 8 to 1 is air 7th. So it comes out first. I can't understand. Now if 8 connected 7 to 1, that would be better. Start 2. Oh, somewhere we said the pairs only get worst. Um, okay, somewhere we set it up so it always connects lower to higher. That's doing it. But how would you know which one was right? Level is sort of the opposite of distance. Hmm. Wow, I think I have... Okay, I, I can see what's going on. I guess that's a step forward. <laughs> okay, so what's going on is when I, when I build the cluster, I'm not putting my best match on top. I'm putting the one with the lowest sequence number on top. And sometimes that's the better match, and sometimes it's not the better match. Okay, so what... Now, if I look at the levels, the level on one... Well, let's see, I can put the level in there too, right? I've got... This is distance. Oh, level, level is distance. Well, the problem I'm going to have is the distance of a node by itself is zero, which is fine, but Hmm. Well, so bigger distance is worse, right? So we really want to connect the smaller one on top. But if it's zero, the other one would be just as good. Um, now, if it was two nodes that were zero, that's actually a very good match. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, let's let's call this let's make this make cluster. Uh, 
Okay, does that go above? Make cluster. Sequence number, distance, cluster one, cluster two, returns a cluster. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to make this at least testable. Okay, so what, what I want is the smaller number on top unless the smaller number is an element. Okay, so three to four, I don't care. Two to five, that I care. Um, I want, I want five on top, because two is an element. Zero to six, Um, I want six on top because it's not an element. One to seven, I want seven on top because one's an element. Okay. I think I can. <sighs> All right. So I think what, in effect, what I'm getting is my order is, it's not even, it's not even worst to best. It's. Um, it's sort of an expedient thing that tends to shove the or, or the best stuff down because everybody else looks like a zero. Um, okay. Uh, let's get over to cluster. Well, that warning isn't going to hurt anything. Let's find cluster tests. Sorry, proximity matrix tests. Okay, um, distance, okay, distance clustering. Okay, clustering. I think we can fit in here. Make cluster, um, Puts lowest um, Well, I guess I should say it this way. If if cluster two is an element, then I'm gonna put cluster one on top. Um, all right, so let's see, we're gonna make a matrix. My initial set of elements. Um, well, maybe I'm also making a test. I think I have three tests to make. One of them is um, puts first round cl cluster on top if both are element elements. Then we make sure it puts the first cluster on top if the second is an element. And then we want to make sure it puts the second cluster on top if first is an element. Okay, put first cluster on top if both are elements. Okay. So if I well 
Can I get this from the outside? I guess I can. If I say clustered, right, I get a cluster back. Okay, let's do that. Um, let cluster equals matrix.clustered. Okay, and now I want to check that. I guess I want to check the leaves. Um, sorry, the elements. Okay, first cluster on top if both are elements. They are both elements, three, four. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, um, if it were four, three, what would be happening? I think I like that should matter. Okay. Now I this is gonna pass. Because I think that's gonna work the same way regardless. Whoa! <laughs> <Hey>, X code. <laughs> Well, we're due for a break. While, while Xcode reboots, we'll take a break. Three or four minutes. See you then. All right, welcome back. Okay, I rebooted. I ran this test. It's okay. It didn't crash again. <laughs> Don't know what happened. Poor Xcode. All right, so three, four. Um, it's fine that the first one is is on top. They're both elements. We we kind of don't even care which one is, is on top. Um, first one, maybe a slight preference for coming out in the order we, we gave it in. All right, now this one, we're going to put the first cluster on top if the second is an element. Okay, so I want... I'm going to need three values. And the first cluster on top if the second is an element. Okay, so I think we could do like one, let's make it very obvious, 10 and 11. Okay, so 11, I'll just stretch a little here. 10 and 11 should cluster first. Oh no, first cluster on top of second is an element. Yeah, 10 and 11 should cluster first and um, one should come in last because these two are closer. So even though 10, 11, we're going to come in with one matching 10, 11 because it's smaller. Um, but we're going to say, no, wait, I'm making an argument for the second one, aren't I? Second cluster on top of first is an element. Okay, let's do that one. All right, and I think this is kind of the same. <laughs> Okay, so the order we want to see is 10, 11, 3. Okay, so the second cluster, 10, 11. Okay, so 10 and 11 form, the, form a cluster. Then we come in in 3 in that cluster, and we put 10, 11 on top because their um, their distance... Well, because the other one's an element. Element's distance is zero, and that's fine. Now this one, okay, let's see if that works. I think that's going to fail. Yep, okay. Right, okay. Now, well, I don't think that matters. Okay. Now this one, make the cluster, put the first cluster on top if the second is an element. Hmm. Uh, 
I guess if we made this 91, no, if we put... Hmm, what does this mean? If the second is an element... Well, I guess this one might pass too, 99. All right, so this is zero, one, and two. It pairs these two together. This is sequence number five. This is two. So it comes out two, five. Um, then it, well, that's actually an instance of this. Maybe it maybe it can't be a different case, because an element's number is always less than um, a cluster's, because we give the numbers out to the elements first. Uh, cluster on top if second is an element. Well. I don't know if that case is different. Okay, so I've got a cluster and an element. Maybe, um, How about puts cluster with um, smaller distance first when both are clusters? Maybe that's a real case. Okay, so let's do 10, 11, 20, 21. Uh, let's make this 10. Well, let's make this 100. 105 and this be 1020. Okay, so I would expect 100. Okay, zero. This should match this should match first 100 105. And then we're pulling in uh, a pair. So that's that's number 3. Uh, two. Sequence number is two. Then we'll compare 10 to 100 and 20 to 100 and 10 to 20. So we'll get zero, one is number, cluster number three. And then we're comparing two, three. No, that's not going to be right. Sorry, let's make it 10, 15 and 100, 10. Okay, now 10, 15 cluster first, that's zero. Um, zero and one go together. Two and three go together. And then we cluster those two. We wanna put this one first. Well, it's gonna be first. Okay, let me keep trying. <laughs> How about 100, 150, 105, and 10, 20. No, I want 10, 11. Let's try that. Okay, now 10 and 11 cluster first. Their number is two. No, that's not gonna be working. Let's try 10, 20. <laughs> okay, 10, uh, 100 and 105 cluster first. Their number is two. Uh, or five. 
Four. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, 100, 105, cluster first. 1020, cluster second. Now we compare 1020 to 100, 105. We would like 100, 105 to stay closer and be first, but it was going to be first anyway. So what if I do this? I think I got the same problem. Okay. Now 100, 105, cluster first, um, then 10, 20, how do we get this? If 100, 105 cluster first, their number is going to be lower than the 10, 20 cluster. What if we put 120 in here? Okay, so 100, 105 cluster first. Then they're 15 away from 120, but 1020 is only 20, a 10 away. So 1020 cluster next, and then 100, 105 cluster with 120 next. Yeah, and then the 1020 cluster. compares to the cluster of the other three and it's lower than than the total cluster number so okay so i think this is a uh, a valid one okay um cluster dot elements I think I have another case that will fail, put it that way. Cluster elements. So I want to I want to see well, I want to see 100 105 are the best two then um hmm I I'm not sure this is right. Uh one Okay, so 100, 100, 105 are best. Okay, they come out as, so the, the top cluster is, I think this is right. <laughs> okay, so 10, uh, sorry, 100, 105 cluster first, then 10, 20 cluster, then 100, 105 cluster with 120. Okay, so 100, 105, 120 um, cluster with 10, 20. Distance 10, distance 15. Okay. And we want to put the smallest distance first. I think it's going to be 1020. This is bad because I'm kind of, could, could convince myself of any ordering I wanted to, I think. Okay, so I think uh, let's let's write it down. Okay, so um, zero is ten, slot one is twenty, slot two is one hundred, slot three is one hundred five, four is one twenty. Okay, the closest pair of that 
is new new number five. The next cluster number is five, and it's going to be 100, 105. Okay. Um, now the distances 0, 1 is 10, um, 0, 2 is big, 1, 2 is big, 2, uh, sorry, 5, 4, the distance is 15. So the best cluster is uh, 6 is 10, 20. Okay, so that's a standalone cluster. Now we're going to find the next closest. Well, 105 versus 120 is closer than 20 versus 100. Okay, so the next cluster is going to be uh, one, well, it's going to be five, four. Well, I guess I should be saying them this way anyway. All right, 100, 105 is two, three. Zero, one. Okay. And the last cluster then is 1020. That's cluster six with six with seven. Okay. Now, I think the current, the current ordering always puts the smaller number first. So I think I think we get this currently. Okay. If we put the closest match first, okay, five equals, well, two, three, they're both elements, that's fine. Six equals zero, one, they're both elements, that's fine. Seven equals four, Five, I think under the new rules, five should come first because four is an element and five is not. Five, four, and then this one. Now we're comparing, we want six and seven. Well, six is distance is 10. I think seven's distance is 15. So I believe um, six will come before seven. Okay, and that that's expected. Okay, so if I trace them down, Eight, eight puts six first. Six is zero, one. So I think 10, 20. And then it takes care of six. Seven is five, then four. Five is two, three, which is 100, 105, and then four is 120. Okay. Um, and I think this will fail. Yes. Okay, so we should have two failures. Good. Two failures. All right. These next two as well. All right. Um, so, smaller distance first. Okay. Um, so, first we're going to check for elements, and then we're going to check for smaller distance. So, um, basically, if the second is element... See if I'm saying this right. If the second is an element, it should go last, right? No, no. If the f if the first is an element, it should no. <laughs> I'm trying to make three cases into two. 
I think I'm being too clever. <laughs> That's not a good move on my part, probably. Okay, so I guess I'm saying if they're if they're both elements, they stay in order. If 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 they're not, if they're both clusters, maybe I can say it that way. If they're both clusters, we take the one with the smaller distance. That's this case. If one's a cluster and one's an element, um, we want to put the element on the bottom. Okay, I think that's the three cases. Usually I write one test per instance, but I just wanted to get all three in my head straight first. Okay. So, um, well, let's see. I think I can say if let, if case cluster, um, equals, is it cluster one? Dot element Okay, if if case element case let element one. So we're saying if if cluster one is an element, cannot be used as an instance member. Well, let's try it this way. Switch case. Let's take cluster one, cluster two. All right. Now. We can use two cases. So we said if they're both um, dot element dot element, I don't know if I have to make them a pair. Okay, so if they're both elements, then where's our make? We're going to do this. Okay, is that going to work? Return. Okay, if they're both clusters, We're going to return something. And then otherwise, we're going to do something. Well, we're going to return something. OK. OK, and what did we say? Um, oh man. Cluster of element has no, oh, this got to be a pair as well. Okay, so if the first one's an element and the second one's an element, okay, two elements, we're just going to keep the same order. All right. Um, if they're both clusters. They're supposed to do something about the distance. Okay. And if they're mixed, well, we got four choices, right? So if, if the, if it's a cluster with an element, we keep it. And if it's an, 
element with a cluster, we don't. Okay, let's... If it's a cluster with an element... Uh, do we do... I don't remember if there's any punctuation here. Case. Um, if it's a cluster with an element, then we just keep them the same. Is that... Oh, dot. Okay. Two elements or, two cl or a cluster and an element, then we want the cluster first. All right. If it's two clusters, we're going to do something with the distance. And if it's a element, element, and a cluster, we're going to swap. Okay, now, I think that will make... Um, Two of our three cases. No, how do you do this? Is it just comma? I think it's just a comma. Well, that didn't have what I wanted. Probably the best way. Case pattern one colon, case pattern comma. Okay. Okay. I believe at least one of these will pass now. I think two out of three. They all passed, okay. That means the test is not good enough. Because the cluster cluster case should have failed. Well, I wanted a cluster cluster taste where the distance mattered. Okay, let's make a variation. I don't know if I want to keep this. Um, let's put, let's put 200 in. Okay, so now um, 100, 105 should cluster first, right? Yep. Next should be zero one. Then twenty is closer to a hundred than two hundred is to one oh five. So the seventh one should be um five six. Uh actually should be well, let's make this expected. Okay, so 100 to 105, 10 to 20. Now, 5 and 6 should go together because they're closer than these. And this order tells me this pair should be first. So it should be 6, 5. That's backwards from what we do now. So I think this hopefully will fail. 
And then the eighth cluster is going to be, well, seven's a better match. Seven's a cluster and a uh, four is an element. <coughs> okay. So if I take that, then, well, I expect 100, 105, then 10, 20, and then 200. All right, and I want this test to fail because he's not considering distance. <laughs> uh, problem is it's like sometimes dumb luck six five okay it can be tricky to derive test data for stuff like this all right um Well, what I want to say is if cluster one dot distance is less than cluster two dot distance, then do this. Otherwise, swap them. Um, This did swap them. That's the tricky part. Although, does it matter? Well, I would like the better match first. I'm getting that in this case, but I want to find a case where I don't. Okay, now how did this work? How did it put... Wait, no, it shouldn't be 6-5. Five. 5 is the better match. 5 is 2-3, so that, that should be 5-6. Okay, so... 8 is... 5... Six, four. I'm going to add an element. Let's add two a one. Okay, so let me try my new one. Um, five is, no. Oh, this should be 200. Okay, so five is going to be, you know, six is going to be four, five. Or five. 200, 201 are the two closest entries. Then the next closest thing is 100, 105, 23. And then the third closest, um, 105 to 200 is 95, 100 to 20 is 80, so it is 0, 1. Okay, now um, I got everybody in a cluster. The next closest thing, well, zero one is closer to 100, 105 than the other one is. So to 
seven. Well, this is nine. Nine should be seven, eight, all right? Can I force the order backwards on those? And then 10 is uh, well, it should be six, nine. So when I bubble that all out, six is zero one. No, six is four five. 200, 201. Yes, they're the closest. Next is 100, 105. Sorry, 9 is 7, 8. Six. Wait. <laughs> Six, nine. Six is 4, 5. Six, okay, four, five is 200, 201. Nine is seven, eight. Seven is five, six. Five is two, three, which is 100, 105. And six, oh, I keep reading the wrong line. Um, nine. Seven, eight, eight is zero, one. So 10, 20. I don't think that's going to bust it. So that test doesn't add anything. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, let's run it and see how we're looking on our big one. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't matter so much. Well, I want the best cluster first. Okay, there's there's got to be some gap because... If the... The best cluster is not the first cluster... Yeah, we got this thing... Still coming up air first. Oh no, I'm backwards now. Am I? I would have thought this would be the best. Yeah, something's not right. Because at some point, I'm deciding. Well, wouldn't I like to know these numbers? Hmm, can I put that in? Because I'm working kind of blind here. Let's go to bracket. Oops.
what if I say dot overlay text um Connectors, or do they have IDs? Okay. Let's see with that. That should tell us, that should be helpful. Yeah, we're writing out all those clusters, good. Okay, well, other than the slight problem of being upside down. Okay, so 38, where's 39? Okay, I'm going to... Uh, this is not staying here. All right. And the good news is we're refactoring, but uh, I don't know. I'm flying a little blind on these things without without this information. Unfortunately, they're so crowded. It's going to be a little hard. 71, 72, 70... Okay, there's 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, now one of these four should have been up top by the rules I want. Okay, now 76 is a, see that's a cluster and element. I don't understand what these rules, cluster and element. Let's see. Sorry, that was proximity matrix. Cluster and element should always write cluster first. Element and cluster should write cluster second. Sorry, element. Element plus cluster should move the cluster to the front and the element to the back. Hmm. Okay, so we got 40, 42, 41, okay, and 39. So this is, this is the most close couple. Now, 44, 45, our element did not move to the bottom. Hmm. And that should have been visible right away. All right, let's let's go to our small whoops. Small input. Okay, we can see the same problem is coming up there. Zero, one, two, three, four, then five connects to six, and yet six ends up on the element ended up on the top. Okay. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, then five connects three to four. Old Joe Clark, okay? Six connects two to five. Two to five, and that should be five to two based on this. That we're not calling? Are we calling this? Make cluster. Okay. 
Yeah, you're not happy. Okay. Um, I should be able to break here. I should see every one of these pairings for those four things. Okay, so let's turn it off and turn it on. Okay. Let's print cluster one dot sequence number. Cluster two dot sequence number. Okay, so number three and four is all Joe Clark's. Right. Let's. Well, that should come in the element element case, cluster one, cluster two. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now, can I do these in one line? No. <laughs> um, can I see them here? Two, and five. Okay, re one is an element. So this should be the cluster element. No, it should be the element cluster. Okay, so let's step over. Element cluster, step over. Let's step out. Okay. Print. Well. Okay. New cluster dot sequence number. Okay, six. And we want. He connected two and five. Two is an element. So it should be five, two. Well, I just want to know your sequence number. I can't tell from all this. Wait. Composer, part, title, Odell Clark. No. Odell Clark 2. Is it all one? Zero elements. Okay, Old Joe Clark, Old Joe Clark 2. And then this one should be Rewoon. And that's on the bottom. Are we reversed? I'll bet we are. Okay, I got to take off the reverse with this now. Okay, let's take off reversed. Let's take off the flipping. Let's take off that, and then we'll take off the flipping of the text. Um, overlay. Take off the flipping there. Okay, run again. Small file, take off the breakpoint, continue. 
Okay, we got to scale something to figure out. Oh no, is that? Did I miss one? Sorry, Tendergram view. What did I just do here? <laughs> okay, let's take off that one. And that one. Okay, we may be getting to the end of this. This may be coming out like I want it to. Okay, the offset is wrong, but these two, then these two, then these two, and these two. Okay, uh, let's forget that offset. I think, can we just get rid of this? Yeah, that's looking, that's looking like it. Six, seven, and eight. Now let's do our big set. And I think we can unwind. I still think that distance should come into it, but even if it doesn't, it's still better. Now, something is funny. We didn't reset our, our indexes when we came in. That might be good. It might be bad. Well, these no scales are not linking together. Okay, there were two that were far away and then the rest were close. This, this. 46, 47, no, 46, and then 48. Well, they look nice and short. Yeah, so I, I think this is demonstrating that My hope was that the shortest distance across like this, the level, would be first. Now the second might be in a different part of the tree, but but it would be larger than this. I don't know. Um, so can I... Hmm. Okay. Um Well, do I have any singletons coming in? They come in on the bottom. That's good. That's sort of like a singleton because they're not connected to anything else. 74, 73, let's see what we got. Everything in the middle. Yeah. I really feel like 32, 35, and 34 should be, these two are zeros and these are close. I feel like that should be on top. Now, oh, Whew, golly. Okay, I mean, we're close. Did we get rid of all our scales? I think we did. 
So nothing is flipped anymore. And we, we got it up to the middle. It was on the bottom. Okay, so that tells me something is something is improved. 72. Okay. I mean, these are contiguous, right? So that's that's something. All right. How can I turn this into an example that demonstrates this property? All right. So I feel like, can I do this? Right? If I do this, where does it go wrong? I, I think it's... That's okay. The short stuff's on top. But I want to find something where it's longer on top. What's the first one I got to get to to do that? Okay. This is... I'm going to try and... make guesses <laughs> based on the numbers that we're seeing here. Okay. So that shorter, that's the element. It's always the sink. We have no single elements on top. So I think something is working. All right. So we got somehow Somehow these got above these. All right, I'm I'm measuring my little ruler here. I guess I use millimeters. Um Okay, that's five and a half. That's six and seven. Okay, so what if I put two numbers that are immediately next to each, maybe even the same? 31, 31. No. I want numbers that are. I want the same number twice. Let's take. One, one. Okay, those one, one will be zero away. Then if I do, this was 55, 5.5, 5 .5, 55. Um, let's do 55. And that should pull 35, 34, 32 together. Now, we need something that's two numbers that are 60 apart from each other. Okay, let's say 200, 260. All right, let's, let's try that. Okay, I guess if I did 1, 2, and 55. Okay, so let's find those tests. This is my 2. Okay, so I'm proposing... Well, let me put them in a randomish order. Does that matter? I don't think it does. 1, 2, 55, 200, 260. Now, zero is one, two, uh, one is two, 
3 is 55, 4 is 200, 5 is 260. All right. First cluster is 1, 2, so that's 6, 1, 2. Second cluster is, I guess, 255, so uh, should be 6, 3. Element last. Next cluster is um, 4, 5. And then the next cluster is 9 is, well, the distance on the left is 7. That's still going to come out right. Okay, now if I put these first, I don't think it matters. I don't think I got it. Uh, okay. Um, let's let's provide some new input. Um, let's do this. He does not want to duplicate. Okay, um, we're going to run. We'll open up our original. Okay. I'm going to try and delete everything below the section I care about. So this is good. This is good. Okay, so twenty eight, twenty nine. We'll take those two out. And fifteen, thir fifteen, sixteen, thirty, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen. So 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. Here's 13.
Okay. 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, Okay, let's save that. Let's try, I, I didn't get everything, but let's try opening that and see if this cluster still looks a little upside down. Okay, so we'll open NG2. We'll, uh, we'll reset the cluster thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so I think if we keep, we'll keep seven, eleven, ten, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five. Maybe that's enough to do it. If we just get this cluster plus this cluster, and then. Both of them. Okay, 7, 11, 10, 32, 35, 34. Let's see. Okay, keeping seven. Ten, eleven, We'll leave 33 in there just for grins. Okay, and then that. Save that. And reload NG2. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, wasn't enough. It. Now the short one's on top. Okay. Okay. Undo, undo, undo. Um, I'm gonna try again. Okay. Well, I. I just don't think these leaf ones are going to add anything. So I think if I take off 19 and 30, 20, 19, 23, 30, I think I can take those out. 19. Twenty three and thirty. Okay, so again, I'm looking for ones where a longer line is above a short line. <sighs> All right. Um, Reload NG2. 
Okay, it still has the problem. All right, I think, well, let's go this way. Excuse me. 12, 21, 26, 31. Twelve, twenty-one, twenty-six, thirty-one. Okay, I think we're doing okay. <laughs> um, twenty twenty four. Well, there's twenty four. Is that twenty? I'm gonna slow down a little bit because we're getting close. Okay, still good. I'm sure 14 won't matter. Okay, 14 looks like the last single element outside the center. Yeah, so 14. Well, it's not quite binary, but we're cutting off. Okay, now that covers everybody. These are our best two. These are our next best. These are next best. Then this, then this, then that. Okay. Um Well, let's let's slow down even more. I think I can get rid of 33. Okay. Now, if I get rid of 22 and 39, that would be a step forward. Let's try them both. 22. And 39. Trying to get this bottom branch off there, but it may be the thing that's triggering something. Um, and G2 again. Oh, yeah, that was that was actually critical. Let's just take off the one. Well, that was enough. So this looks slightly to the left of this one to me. 
So maybe, maybe this is correct. Oh dear. So 32, 35 pair is the closest, then 34. Then the next closest pair is 7, 11, 9, and then 10 goes in with those two. Yeah, you know, it's coming in. Well, I'm not enforcing that distance, though. So is this an example or not? <laughs> this distance, if you look at the two children, this distance is slightly smaller. I'm pretty sure. I mean, just a sixteenth of an inch, um, if that. So this child should be on top. And then if this one's on top, well, this comes before the single element. Now, if I remove 10, I'm pretty sure it's going to go back to the order I was hoping. <sighs> no. Well, it's still the same problem, isn't it? So 10 says, which is shorter, this or this? It's like I've got to do a recursive thing, maybe. Whew, this is more than I wanted to do, but... I think what I'm asking, it's almost like, yes, this is shorter, but this is really a better match. And this is... Well, this is one diamond's worth... It takes that much. This goes three diamonds doing it. So it's almost like I want the average. I want the average of the depth. Like this one. Well, put numbers on it. Okay, that node's at seven. The one above it is at six. Next is five and then zero. Okay, so if I take... 6 divided by 1, it's still 6. But if I take 7 divided by 3, that's only 2 and 2 thirds or 2 and a third. Okay, so the average on here is only 2 and a third for all those levels. And this one at 6, I would think this is a better match. Even... Yeah, because if I put something worse in, um, well, the worst is my my rule I wanted to enforce was the shorter branch goes on top, and in this case, that's how it came out anyway. Sorry, this is eight. This is is that seven? Yeah. So six, seven, eight, nine. Um, how can I force? I 
I don't know. Maybe if I kept track of the depth, I could do something, but I've got to figure out a way to get a test case that's going to demonstrate this problem. And the... Well, I don't think I'm going to do it in two minutes. Um, well, let's see. What are we... What's our to-do, our mission? Okay. Well, we did that. Okay. Um, that's good. Okay. And then, and then put most similar elements on top. Okay. I would say what we did so far was... Um, Put clusters before, well, how about if a cluster contains an element and a cluster, put the cluster on top. We did that. Okay. Um, but we haven't done the rest of this. We did get rid of the vertical flip. Okay, so that's that's some progress there. All right. I guess I'm just going to still keep trying to come up with an example where the lower node number actually has a bigger distance. Maybe that can't happen. Actually, it can't, can it? If you exclude these elements... the lower node number is always shorter because it was created sooner. So it's, we always take the closest one next. So I'm okay. I'm going to leave a question in here. Um, if um, for two clusters in a cluster, put the lower sequence number first. Okay, we'll we'll say, talk about that one. I'll see if I can come up with a counterexample, and if not, I think we'll say we're good with where we are, and then think about a better one that averages the depth. And we don't calculate depth, but we certainly could. All right, um, and I guess your depth is probably the maximum depth of your children. So this one's two, and this one's zero. So this is a two. Zero, zero, one. Uh, one more than the maximum depth. Um, two, so this is a three. Two versus zero, we'll make it a three. Okay, um, we'll stop there. So next time is tomorrow, 2 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time or 6 to 8.30 p.m. UTC. Um, I don't know, it was painful trying to come up with data today, but uh, I, think, I think we're close to getting something that will... Um, do as my intuition wants and get the better matches up top. All right. Thanks for joining. Take care. Bye-bye.